patience to be your agents of change in the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A reading from Psalm 90. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting you are God. You turn us back to dust and say, Turn back, you mortals. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, or like a watch in the night. You sweep them away, they are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed. In the evening it fades and withers. For we are consumed by your anger. By your wrath we are overwhelmed. You, set, you have set your, our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your countenance. For all our days pass away under your wrath. Our years come to an end like a sigh. The days of our life are 70 years, or perhaps 80 if we are strong. Even then, their span is only toil and trouble. They are soon gone, and we fly away. Who considers the power of your anger? Your wrath is as great as the fear that is due you. So teach us to count our days that we may gain a wise heart. Turn, O Lord, how long? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, so that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad as many days as you have afflicted us and as many years as we have, been, have seen evil. Let your work be manifest to your servants and your glorious power to their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and prosper for us the work of our hands. O oh, prosper the work of our hands. A reading from Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now a reading from our Gospel, St. Luke, the 13th chapter. Jesus said, therefore, What is the kingdom of God like, and to what should I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in the garden. It grew and became a tree, and the birds of the air made nests in its branches. And again he said, to what should I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. When we talk about change, we have to talk about how we go through changes incrementally. Sometimes we don't even notice that a change is happening. It is so gradual. I don't know about you, but as I've become an adult, I, I sometimes think back that, gosh, the years have gone by so quickly. I know that sometimes when I'm out doing something like a couple of weeks ago, out kayaking, I realize that my body just didn't go into the kayak in the same way that my body used to go into a canoe or a rowboat or something. I used to just fly around on the rocks and jump into boats and do all those things, but now 
I have to be much more careful and I realize that the change that has happened in my own body has, uh, is indi indicative of uh, the changes that happen in our lives. So how do we handle change? That's the question. Change that happens rapidly and which really hits us so, so deeply can knock us off balance. But we have God with us that no matter what happens in our lives, no matter what change happens to us, God is with us. God accompanies us. And God knows what change is like because God lived a human life in the life of Jesus. Think about all the changes that Jesus went through in his life, from being a, a boy in Nazareth with his parents, thinking about his sort of inner feelings and inner uh, sort of yearnings for God, remember him as a 12-year-old in Jerusalem, but then also remember him sort of going to John the Baptist when he finally decides that it's time for his ministry to begin and the change that happens as he is driven out into the wilderness. Does Jesus really know when he starts the journey how it's going to end? Does he really understand that his walk is the walk to the cross? We'll never know. But at some point he does become aware that his role in the, in the plan of salvation is an important one and it leads to Jerusalem. And so as we think about the changes in our own lives, let us reflect upon the changes that God can embolden in us if we will simply allow God to be with us in the midst of all that change. Amen. Beneath the cross of Jesus, I long to take my stand. The shadow of a mighty rock within a weary land, a home within a wilderness, a rest upon the way. From the burning of the noontide heat and burdens of the day. Upon the cross of Jesus my eye at times can see the very dying form of one who suffered there for me. And from my contrite heart with tears to wonders I confess the wonder of his glorious love and my unworthiness. I take, O cross, your shadow for my abiding place. I ask no other sunshine than the sunshine of his face. Content to let the world go by, to know no gain nor loss. My sinful self, my only shame, my glory all the cross. We 
Let us pray. O oh God, our help, you walk with us through all of life's changes. Grant us strength, patience, wisdom, and understanding. O oh God, our hope, you come to us in the life, death, and resurrection of Christ. Show us your salvation and lead us in the way of the cross. O oh God, our shelter, you enfold us like a mother hen gathering her chicks. Watch over all who are sick, grieving, lonely, and in need this day. O oh God, our home, you claim us as your beloved children. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom. All this we ask to the one who gave himself for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Steadfast God, you bless us amid all the changes and chances of life. Grant us servant hearts that we may feed the hungry and welcome the stranger in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord of peace give you peace at all times and in all ways. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever wilt be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Summer and winter and springtime and harvest, Sun, moon, and stars in their courses above. Join with all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness, mercy, and love. Great is thy faithfulness, Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Pardon for sin and a peace that endureth thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide. Strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. 
blessings all mine with ten thousand beside great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness morning by morning new mercies i see all i have needed thy hand hath provided great is thy faithfulness lord unto me now go in peace for nothing can separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Thanks be to God.